Oh. <laughs> my brain burn, my brain, my brain burn him. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> what an amazing start to stream. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Sure it is. Okay, so I think what, we're, what we'll do is I think we will, because this game has like, I think it's like 30 something endings or some shit. I don't fucking remember. Uh, probably just take turns making decisions like on each run and see how each of us can fare. Mm. So uh, let's uh, let's give it a shot. Here we go. I'm not sure how to remember to. You're on a path in the woods. Hey, guys. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin Hi guys. is a princess. I did not realize that this game had voice acting. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will not be the active. end it's of not the popping, world. Baby. Huh? It's not jumping. Or, no. <laughs> What's what's happening? My reactive, it's not oh. reacting. <laughs> God damn it! Uh. <laughs> Jeez, why? It's 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 scuffed twenty four seven. Hey guys, I'm pretty sick right now. <laughs> yeah, please just bear with us. I just got over a sickness myself, so I might kind of slide into it every now and then. Uh, let me... Sorry, we're... Hi, Mike. Happy yep. New Year's. Happy New Year's, guys. Thank you for showing up. We, we appreciate it. Uh. It'll be alright. I am. And we are kind of, kind of teasing him that he passed his sickness on to me via Discord. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I think it logged me out of Fuji, so. Okay. Okay, try it now. Mm. Hello. Okay, it's pop. Okay. Yeah, hello. No, it's. All right, hang on. I am re-adding you because <laughs> it's it's working. Mm -hmm. It's working on the website, but it's not working in the an OBS. So one second. And I'm gone. Ninja vanish. It's still not working. <clears throat> oh, I'm in the corner. It's working on the website, but it's not working in OBS. I don't know why. Maybe I should rejoin call. I guess give it a shot. 
I'm sorry that I gave that to Shut up and say I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it didn't work anyway, so. God damn it. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait for your model to show back up once uh, your phone is charged. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know as well. Where did the check my fucking? What the fuck? Uh, there's two oh, of you. There's two of me. And neither of them are working. That's great. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Why is there two of me, baby? I, <laughs> I tried to, God damn it. I tried to use the group one to see if maybe that one would pop, and it's not. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know. No, my shrap. My Fuji's taking a holiday. I just knew he is. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> let's just go. Let's Yeah, let's go with that. Yep, let's go with that. Oh god. Oh god! Why are there so many decisions What's right happening? around? There's so many decisions already! What the fuck? Okay. Uh. What the shit? God damn, There's you There's so many! Okay, most visual novels are like, oh, we'll give- the first choice we'll give it's just one or two, like, are you gonna do this, yes or no? Not fucking- we're leaving, fuck this. Seriously? Like a, you're just going like to turn around and leave. Do you even know where you're going? What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Damn. Nope. The only thing that matters is I'm is where I'm not going, the cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. I'm pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. I'm gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Wow. How convenient. Well, shit. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Turn around again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Awesome. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. <laughs> your silence is deafening. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin. Mm. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition <laughs> or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Oh yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again, in fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you oh start God. to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. Fuck. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. There's always a lighthouse. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility. Damn right. You care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? 
but of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any Jesus. of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Huh? <laughs> what the chapter one? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Oh, it's and just another, cabin, just another uh, is a playthrough. Princess. Your turn. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. And then. Wait, wait. No. Oh, it's not. It is it's a different. It's not my turn. It's chapter. No, oh, yeah. Okay. Deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Okay, no. You aren't kidding. She actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you're a bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. The entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Oh, there are. There's walls in the background now. What the shit? Oh, well, yeah. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. Oh, this is going to be like a psychological mindfuck, isn't it? Or, heaven forbid, someone yes, other than you I'm might have stumbled sure. onto the princess. Oh, I'm excited now. Yep, okay, head into the cabin now where I'm definitely going to slay that princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. Oh, I have no choice. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, okay. all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table, is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? Oh, I'm sure it's simple. You can't just say that. But when everything here is so... Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. 
How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job. So you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. And don't worry, I'm sure we'll get it right on the first attempt. For sure. It's hydrate. Ah, I got water. I'm not popping the champagne until... What? <laughs> Fucking gulps. Mm, your boy thirsty. Yeah. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Ooh, we should look at ourselves. Wouldn't that be fun? You won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror. There's the table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. Why would you lie about that? What's the point? Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do if you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done? You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't if, funny. If we get jump scared here, I will... Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous oh. you look right now. It, but it was there a second ago, and now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. So, we're like some lizard boy? Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really Seems shouldn't hold like it like it. that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way, thumb at the bottom. It will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Oh look, see I have a blade now on the McCursor. Switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. <laughs> yes! Isn't this so much better? Stabby. <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. I'm making my <laughs> I'm making my first run the meme run. <laughs> yes! Do it! Seriously. <laughs> Wait, why did it break bowl the windows? The window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. We'll be fine, don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Been there, done that. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. <coughs> The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong, and the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get, your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No, no, thank you. Oh, don't be such a Fuck. baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. 
like whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. You step to the right. The path feels soft and reassuring against your feet. The stairs almost seem to cradle you as you make your way down, like they're guiding your heels from one step directly to the next. You barely have to extend any effort to descend, the stairway doing most of the work for you. You don't feel like there's any concern that you might slip or tumble or lose your way. But the further you go, the deeper you sink in. First, it's like a lovely plush carpet, your toes digging down and barely hitting any resistance at all. Ugh. But soon enough, you're fighting just to keep your knees from sinking out of sight. The softness threatens to swallow you whole, to wrest control of your body and surround you in a false ethereal bliss, pretending to save you from the cruelties of choice and consequence. Hmm, maybe we should have taken the other stairs. Slow going, <laughs> but you manage to fight against the overwhelming urge to fall back into comfort and nothingness, the very struggle to continue forward, consuming your every thought. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion- I'm expecting a jump scare. As... Are you okay? The fuck? Does that count as a jump scare? Not really, because there what was a scream, was but it does what look creepy. I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> you're here to... He's just... Oops. I don't know what happened to you, but you look like you're in one piece now. B but I understand. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. We're probably stuck down here forever, <laughs> aren't we? There's no way out. And barely a way in. You didn't hear me. <laughs> we didn't hear what? Nothing. Not start though. The sibling blast sound was loud. <laughs> as the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that. I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. It's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Oh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. <laughs> oh. 
What the fuck? That's one choice. What the fuck? Why is it all lighting up? I think it's one I, I choice. Don't think, it's... don't think it's supposed to be. Are you curious? Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. Well, you experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in yep. a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world... The princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart. We did it. We won. <laughs> I think he's gone. Oh, we were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened to us? What are we? What are we? There, are there are parts, parts of us that are dead, and others, they just don't fit. They just don't. We, we can, can feel, feel them moving around in spaces, spaces they, they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all, all so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, can you pull, can us, you back pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. please. got an achievement she's gone where did she go should we try and find her and there's that mirror again why is it here why now i'm begging you don't do this it's different now it feels i don't know final yeah don't look at it i don't like that uh, um. this, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Yeah, don't look at it. I, I it. don't like that thing. I got an achievement called It's You. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What the fuck? Why are there oh so, God. Many, so many choices? <laughs> it's no wonder this game has so many achievements. YOLO My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. YOLO
There's nowhere for you to be but here. Okay, well, I tried. Nothing <laughs> as we are, but I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Everything until we meet again. More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. I am so absolutely enthralled by what's happening right now. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Uh, I, I think, I think the game closed and I think it was supposed to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I, I think the game, I think the game was supposed to close there. <laughs> well. <laughs> what? I think, I think that was the prologue. Because uh, you waited forever, so... <laughs> Oh my That's... god, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck, man? Alright, well, let's... Alright, so well, let's... <laughs> watch, watch me have to uninstall the game and reinstall it and try again. <laughs> it's like you... You have returned to me. Ah, wait, no. You were gone mere moments. I never left your song. The stream. No, your stream. I know I had to fix it. But as you could see. As well, I mean. You. There we the go. Illusion of choice. What the yeah. Shit the fuck, my guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Make me forget. All right. Fine. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Well, game over. Stream in Discord. Oh, oh, the stream in Discord died. D fucking. <laughs> I died. Okay? I died. Yeah. I died. <laughs> You're dead. Oh my god. <coughs> hey, chapter one. It's your it fuck. <laughs> you're on a path. In it's the your turn, baby. And at the end of that path, the real slay the, the real slay the princess the starts here. That cabin is a princess. 
That was the prologue. <laughs> so nothing I did, everything that I chose was going to lead to that 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 fake first ending. You're huh. here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. All right, what are we doing? So these aren't actions. The explorers aren't actions. They're just questions and they don't advance. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So let's maybe scroll down slower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, there's new. Viva la revolucion! Goddamn! Is, is that the one you want, baby? <laughs> no. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not doing. A, I'm not doing a meme one for my first one. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's. These are the Hold actual on. actions. Okay. Uh, have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists or. Very, very evil people, but maybe I'm just depressed, man. <laughs> yeah, you ever heard of that? Uh, ah, those are just okay. Yeah, yeah. How about the uh, do I get some sort of reward? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Wow. Wow, because she's locked up. I am down to fucking getting. Oh, the prize, yeah, the prize. It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Is it a nude? Okay. Of the narrator? <laughs> okay, how about the because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. <laughs> Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning. Before you go any further, she will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The, blade is the air is stale weirdly. and musty, and the floor and walls are painted everything's in a fine weird. layer of dust. There's no the mirror this time. Note is a plain wooden table. And it's not fucked Perched up. On that table yeah. Is a and the windows blade. are also different. It's a different cabin. The mm. blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. We got the stabby cursor. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. 
This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Hey, yo. Who's there? Oh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fuck was that? My God. <laughs> what hey, is... <laughs> That's not what I did. <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> I clipped it just in case. No, instead we got a, who's there? <laughs> she sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hmm. <laughs> Let's continue that one. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Huh. Do not drop it. Just tighten the grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Are you sure she's not armed? I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Hmm. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. It's Quint of the princess. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to actually do that one? Yes. You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. The two of you are going to do this forever, aren't you? <laughs> you squint even harder. So does she. At least nobody's dying right now. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have to blink. <laughs> oh god, no! I'm out of choice! <laughs> <laughs> you tried. I was trying to like prolong it even a bit. <sighs> Mm. Do you go for the win? Mm. <laughs> mm. If this is actually the, curious, if this is actually like the actual win button here, I swear to God, do it. Do it. 
the wind. You charge the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions Yeah, correct. I figured. A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> with the last bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you collapse on the floor together. Oh. Bleeding out. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder. Who is she? She's so. Ugh. Do you really think that this was enough to stop me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Aww. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path um, is a cabin. It's still your run. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. But I read the... Wait, wait. Yeah, that one. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and <laughs> stab us again. Did. This whole thing's a crock of shit. <laughs> she just gonna pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. When we asked you if you were sure she didn't have a weapon on her, you said you were positive she didn't. But it turns out she did. Because when we charged her, she started stabbing us to death. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Mm. Yep, the first choice. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. We did exactly well, I, what you said. Sounds to me like you probably had some kind of elaborate nightmare. In which case, I shouldn't be held accountable wow. for what's supposed to be. Getting gaslit right now. <laughs> that was one of the trigger warnings. Actually do this right. <laughs> Get remember? <laughs> remember, I read them off to you. Gaslighting was one of the trigger warnings. <laughs> Gaslighting me. <laughs> I, I told, like, remember, because I, I read them off to you just in case there was something that I'm... would give you the ick per personally. <laughs> and gaslighting was one of the last ones listed. I know. <laughs> and I believe your other question was something along the lines of oh, really what's funny. The point of doing anything. If you're asking that, it sounds to me like wow. you're making a rather dangerous assumption. Your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. I used to say that a lot when I was like 15. What's the point of doing anything? <laughs> what do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We stabbed the princess, the princess stabbed us, and now everyone's right back to where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Screw this. Who cares what happened to everyone else? She's not going to play fair, so we should do what we can to save ourselves and just get out of here. At least you know not to trust her, but you do realize that everything and everyone includes you, right? If you turn around and leave, you're dooming yourself as well as everyone else. 
She just caught us by surprise last time. She can't do that twice. So long as we're careful, we can win this. That's the spirit. Just keep that step up a little. You'll save the world in no time. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. God damn. Oh, that's a, a lot of choices again. Is that all the choices? Yeah, just that, never mind. Who locked her in that basement? People locked her in that basement. And wow. I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. And if people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. Oh, huh. I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be? Why the fuck does he sound so? Gaslit. Now, um... now he's being condescending. Of course you're special. <laughs> if anyone's special here, it's her. That was a nasty trick she pulled on us. Yep. I've told you everything you what need to know. Going? going into more detail just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. You didn't tell us about her knife last time, though. That's because she's unarmed. And more than that, it's because there wasn't a last time. We can actually explore all of those, or... Yeah. Uh... Yep, the second one. She just can, but she's still only a princess. You're fully up to the task you've been given, so long as you remember that. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably yeah. because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. Oh, and don't get stabbed while you're at it. Great. That's now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. Go turn around and leave after everything. And away we go. Good call. Seriously, you're just going to turn around and leave. Do you even know where you're going? Ah, oh, it's the same as earlier. Yeah, it looks like this might lead us back to the ending that we already got. Yeah. Uh, fine, let's just go, uh, go to the cabin and save the princess. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. The whole world owes you a debt of gratitude. Really. A warning. Before you go, she will lie. He couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll what be fine. What was the voice earlier with your first run? Uh, it was... the voice of the cheated. Uh, the contrarian. Ah, yeah. I bet you we get different voices depending on what path we're on. Yeah. The interior oh, of the fuck. is a jagged the mirror's mess back. of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. This whole cabin is different than last time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. 
Me taking the blade again? Hmm. I'm betting approaching That's the mirror. This time. Just no. Damn. Okay. Are we really That's doing this without a weapon? You know she has one, right? Once again, I'd like to remind you that she's unarmed. But you're right. This would be a lot easier if you had the blade. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, the mirror disappeared. Yep. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what, what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. If we see our dead body on the ground. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, what the fuck? she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess oh. comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Exactly. She sounds threatening because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? I hate that so much. Oh god. Is, is there so many? Explore what? Wait, is that it? No. no. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> you can go back and get the knife if you want. <laughs> Shit, there's so much choice. Oh my god. Uh, I hate her tone so much. Yeah. Yep, let's do the religion. I know you have a knife. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. Oof. Prove? Yep. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. The princess smiles as she pulls her hands from behind her back. But look at this! Hands! Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with! Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too! Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. Yep, first one. I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait. That sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp, 
and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. Hmm, I'd like to trust you, but you're being so suspicious right now. That's so rude of you, passing judgments on strangers you've never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? Silly little bird face thinks he's so serious coming down bird here, but face. doesn't know anything. He doesn't even have a knife for stabbing. I bet you didn't like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who has the capacity to quickly arm himself? You do. So stop second guessing yourself, go upstairs, take the blade and do your job. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. I don't have the key. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed Bruh. to look like, so you better come <laughs> yeah. right within close staring distance just to be sure. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go ahead and do How that. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No, I have my dignity. Fine and will continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. Okay, scroll down, please. Got it. Down. Hmm. Taking forever if I keep on exploring the fucking options. I know, but it's so curious. Yeah. I love it. I know. I am thoroughly enjoying myself right now. Yeah, taken out of context. <laughs> what? What do you Don't mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. I'm gonna take this out of context. Scroll down. <laughs> Okay, what are you going to do if I let you out? All sorts of things, which is why I think that's a great idea. I would love to not be chained up down here. Being chained wow. up is so boring, and I crave fresh and new activities to broaden my horizons. Please don't let her out of here. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually with him on this. Okay, but what if all of this is just a misunderstanding? There has to be room for this to be a misunderstanding. Fucking creepy, what the fuck? I know. If I it's... come closer, you're just going to stab me, aren't you? First one. What? No! No! I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess Bruh. trapped here for no reason. <laughs> and you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. <laughs> <laughs> you remember what happened last time? I'm oh, last exhausting time, everything. If yeah. somebody came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open and then he stabbed me in the heart and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, surely I would remember Bruh. that. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. Bruh. There you go again, talking up delusions about a past life experience that clearly didn't happen. Bruh. Brother. Shut up, the two of you are working boy. together on this, aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. 
We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. That's exactly what I was you do remember it. Would I just lie? Would I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Aha! She slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. <sighs> no, what? <laughs> what? No, why? You're just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll down, like, more this down. <laughs> Or retrieve the knife. It's boring if you leave. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's... In a sudden burst of movement, the princess yep. leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. Oh, so fuck. I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. Oh god, just gonna chop her arm. She slices yep. through her arm. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. That won't stop us from trying. Run, 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 run! You sprint for the stairs, but... I wasn't exaggerating when I said she was running at you with a terrifying speed you couldn't hope to outpace. We don't make it, do we? No. You feel her blade in your no. back before you make it to the first stair. I'm going to kill you now. And with a squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. Up. Huh? Chapter three. It's not over, me. Wait, what? Wait, what? Fuck that! If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. <laughs> He's like, dude, fuck off! Can we just get to the part where we talk to the princess? Fuck. <laughs> Amazing. What? Yeah, I feel dizzy. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Who cares about cards? You're all acting like this is about winning you. and losing, while this is actually about having fun. How can you care about having fun at a time like this? Paranoid. There is someone, something out there pulling the strings, and we're all just puppets until we can figure out how to see them. But what if that someone is us, eh? Eh? Wouldn't that be neat? If we were the ones pulling the strings, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have died twice already. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction. Right? That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. It's only too much responsibility if these worlds are real. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perch. We take it. Okay, sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And then we throw it out the window. What? That blade is the only edge we have. We are not too late because we already did it. Didn't we? Unfortunately for the rest of you, and for me, and for the sake of the world, <laughs> I have no control over this. <laughs> yes. That is horribly unfair. He shouldn't be allowed to just do things like that. You were the one who made us pick it up. See? You're not the only one who can figure out how to do things. 
What's done is done. I suggest you make the best of it. Oh, is this how things are going to be now? All of us vying over a single body. Fine. See this corner? It's mine. And I'd better not see any of you trying to invade my personal space. So? Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? There isn't a door, there's just that mirror. It isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. We can see our reality just fine. Why should we trust his? Well, well that's the only choice. You make your way to the door at the end of the room stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks oh, well. and the mirror's gone. Eh, yeah, surprising. I can't say I was particularly invested in looking at it before, but now... Now I really want to see what's in it. If it's so keen on hiding from us, whatever it has must be real good. It feels like it's hiding something from us. It's part of the big picture. I just know it. That's why it's being kept from us. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. I don't like that the music stopped. Yeah. <laughs> You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. Oh, they are Jesus. smooth, God damn it. metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. I had a feeling one of these one of these routes we were just gonna fall on our face. Did we die? <laughs> Your body tumbles onto the basement landing. The form of the princess comes into view, Riley smiling at you from a distance. She looks different every time. Hi. Yeah, she it looks like you don't have a way out. So I'm not going to play dumb anymore. And you still don't have a weapon. That's funny. That's a joke. I'm going to kill you now. Yes, that was extremely huh. silly of whoever did that. Probably a bad idea. That was you. Oh no, I'm just trying to add some levity to this. Well, since all of this was your idea, how about you figure out how to get us out of it? Oh, guys like us don't get to make any decisions. You should know that. <laughs> I decided to pick up that blade, and you decided to throw it out the window. Why, why is this like a Three Stooges scenario now? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. This is like... Clearly isn't working because I can still hear you three yelling at each other. She's going to kill us again, you know. Especially if we keep fighting with ourselves. We need to get rid of our thoughts. Uh, but I don't wanna. Your internal bickering is cut oh, off the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like what torn the sleeves. Fuck? The chain clatters to the floor. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? All right, I'm out of ideas. What are we doing? Oh. That's a lot of choices again, I think. Oh my god. Dude. I'm gonna try flirting with her. <laughs> oh, these ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one? Yep. Yeah, that's right. We just have to think. There's probably an answer if we think. Just standing there, huh? We don't even a have time to think of the shore. But you don't have time to finish your thought before yep. she closes the distance. <laughs> and then she skewers you. Ow. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah. We don't even get a second to think without her stabbing us. Oh, Skip a new thing. one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Nah. We'd know if we died. Right? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? We're dead, aren't we? We're dead, dead. How long have we been dead? Have we been dead the whole time? Dead, 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 dead. Oh. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. 
This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? I don't actually know how to answer that question. I think he means how many times have we died. Yes. That. Oh, I've lost count, to be honest. I haven't. It's four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. Thanks for the support, babe. But I guess what? we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. <laughs> okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. Come on, show me something new. Okay, plan now. Um, flirt with her. Well, that could have worked. On those gleaming blades, there's nothing better than a capable <laughs> woman. She skewers you. <laughs> You're cute. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. She skewers you. More noise isn't helping. It's just making it harder to focus. What's the point? It's all the same. She skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. We don't even have a weapon. Yeah, some clod threw it out the window. Again, that was you. No, I was just the clod who suggested it. And if I knew we'd be stuck here forever, I wouldn't have done that. Just keep dodging, just keep dodging, just keep dodging. She skewers you. What's the point of avoiding me if you're not going to fight? See? We lasted a little longer. Barely. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. Fine. One last time. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to me. Sure. <laughs> she excuses. Sure. And then everything goes dark and you die. Four. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. No steel claw, though. Was tossing it the only thing we've done that was permanent? That's a sick joke, universe. <laughs> a sick, <laughs> sick joke. <laughs> this is supposed to be like a fucked up game and all it's done is made us laugh. It's gone for good, but we never anymore. actually needed it. That's what I've been telling you all. We can do this without it. We're tougher than steel. Yeah, mind over matter. Who needs violence when you have love? Who needs love when you've mastered yourself? Who needs anything when we don't matter? Well, boys, are we ready? There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things? She's just gonna come we'll out to doing them. from there at this yeah. point. Yeah. Leave it to the pros. Narrator? We heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Happy New Year, everybody! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year for you, baby, mm -hmm. and the future. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Let me pop the cork again. Sheesh. Damn. Ugh. It's now a drinking stream for me. All right, let's go. Fine by me. Yo. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs. Only it's fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs, or this room, or anything? <laughs> Feels like I'm hardly a part of this. <laughs> don't care. Just want to see how this ends. Fine. You make your way to the basement where the I princess. Not even chained anymore. 
You know, this last time I killed you and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say, <laughs> I would like to hear you describe the new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against what the What in the walls. fuck? All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Yes, mommy. Holy shit. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Yes. Behold the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw her out? Think we can throw her out the window? Okay, yeah. Oh, that was so funny. There's all this deranged shit happening, and then Contrarian comes in, and he's just like, uh, insert quippy quote here. That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. <laughs> That's all just made up. I'd say we bow down to her right now if that had ever even slightly worked for us. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Fuck this all right. What just happened? Empty my mind. So quiet. <laughs> Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. <laughs> this worked before. I was able to make you dead before. Did you do that? It's funny if you did. You're nothing. You've done nothing to me and I've done so much to you and that's who we are. But it's like you're nothing now. You can't be nothing. If you're nothing, then what am I? Am I nothing too? No, I'm the one who hurts you. Huh. Grown. Not it's you. Proceed to the cabin. Huh. 
flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement, I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Hmm. peaceful down here god damn i know right <coughs> i'm sorry jesus you feel about me that was down there the vessels are shaped by memories of you but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet to them you are a gate to something more and you are something more than that too but they are only thoughts and perspectives they are not me r i p Huh? I went to go open my my champagne and the cork broke. Oh I, <sighs> Wait, I might have an idea. Hang on. The wounds they <laughs> suffered carved texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Come on. <laughs> Aha! Treated it like Pocky. Nope. What? Said I treated the cork like it was Pocky. I just had to push the broken part inside the champagne. <laughs> Not Pocky, um, Ramane. Well. Is it time to reset? Not yet. Um, there's still questions. Okay, what do you want to ask? Are you the same being? First is one. a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, <clears throat> but I am the same. Ah. What does it feel to change like this? close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. Mm. If it is correct, this is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Let me just click them all and just go straight down. Sure. Okay. With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. Thank you, baby. And every exploration yields mm -hmm. new and complicated mm -hmm. truths. Mm -hmm. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. Thank you for what? No, I, it's the whole point. <laughs> but in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. A little finger. There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together. And find new horizons to discover. 
What if? What if? What if they chained the princess down there because she's the one actually with the with the aim to kill you? <laughs> or us. I mean <laughs> she's done it before, so and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. You mean like what if we're the one that destroys the universe? Yeah. Good to not share. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Jesus. Don't turn the game off. Okay. Your turn. You're on a path in the woods. You're here. Yeah, I don't need to. Alright. And we've already... Alright, I'm doing the Viva La Revolution. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's the spirit. You make your way up the short a warning. She will lie. At least she will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from killing her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty. No and mirror. The floor and walls are painted in a fine. The blade is your. How do I want to do this? You take the blade from the table. The door to the basement creaks open. Her voice. Who's there? She said, don't let it. F oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? No, no, uh. <laughs> <laughs> then drop the knife. You should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. <sighs> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clack. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. I know. <laughs> I just said that. Yeah, I saw that. Now, why are you here to kill me? Just tell her that. <laughs> Is
Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Yeah. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key, then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Right? She is. I'm sure of it. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Too long. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our <laughs> sakes it's the right one. Hmm. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay. 
We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. Yeah, As she up. violently rattles the door, yeah, you do your best I know, I hear it. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forget you. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. Uh. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Just ignore her. Maybe the banging and wailing will stop if you just don't pay attention to it. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped and the oh door God. to the basement is ajar. Hey. It's not yeah. broken and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, mm. and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark. And you die. You're on a path. You're here to sleep. I'm just going straight for it. Huh? Warning. Yeah. Before you, she will. I don't think it doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Bottom line. The interior of the cabin is plain, what the, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement door. It's pretty good champagne, not gonna lie. The blade is your implement. Hold on. What happened to the door? It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Better than a knife? Do we have a bomb? The hero this time is really nervous. Oh, did you see the fucking yeah. people peeking in through the window? Oh god. Oh god. I didn't I see them know, until I, I, I didn't see them until just now. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. This one's cute though. Of this off, I don't like so this one. Don't lose faith in yourself. <laughs> Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Uh... Nice. You cross over ah. the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mention the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Come back? She must have you confused with someone else. You really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter, we need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard, but then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. Step off into the void between the stairs. <laughs> well, you did say. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? I was curious. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? <sighs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. Mm -hmm. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. You decide it's best to do nothing. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. As your blood begins to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nose. Heart. Again, your eyes.
eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all you need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're back. Lungs, liver, One moment, nerves, and heart, then you're lungs, gone. Liver, Just that. Ah, heart, and there's lungs, the liver, fear. Nerves, she pulls heart, away. Lungs, but that wouldn't be very nerves, fun, now would it? Lungs, I've liver, already done that. Nerves, while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me, and then, well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? You died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. I know. You told me last time. Destroy is such an unenlightened way of putting it. So sudden. So violent. So little nuance. I'm not going to destroy the world, but I am going to hold it in my hands and squeeze it. I'm going to make it afraid, just like I've made you afraid. The world needs fear, doesn't it? Every terror I bring would make the good times so much better. Well, I'm practically doing a public good. So what harm is there really in letting me out? But I know I'm going back to that They're all full of less riding things in the to take. Imagine climbing a mountain of lifetimes. And when you finally reach the summit, when you finally win, the only view you find is me. I push you. And you go tumbling all the way down those millions upon millions of battered and broken pieces of you that couldn't make the cut. What then? Would you have it in you to climb again? It sounds like a lot of effort for nothing. When instead we can just leave this place together. Hand in hand. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. I am what I am. And right now, I'm in 
control. So, you might want to be a little nicer to me. Raises one long blood finger, its tip hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. But she withdraws, sparing you another momentary glimpse of death. I am what I am. It's my fault that you can't handle being around me. Princess cocks her head, neck cracking uncomfortably, and you can't help but imagine a smile carve its way from ear to ear on the other side of her mask. Thinking about that knife, are we? Put that little theory to the test. See how it plays out. But I don't think you're going to like what happens. Because even if you make me dead, you are not getting out of here. This place is mine, and I'm not giving you the stick. Unless I'm leaving with you. Then we're stuck down here together. Until you change your mind. Static. And a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Until your heart finally gives out. you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end. Until you let me out. And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Glad you're seeing things my way. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, 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 nerves, heart. Mm. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, Your nerves, will concentrates into a single fine nerves, point, and you strike out against nerves, the princess, nerves, ignoring heart, the constant lungs, reminders liver, of your breaking nerves, body. Heart, lungs, she doesn't nerves, even move heart, as lungs, the blade liver, sinks into her heart. heart lungs, we, we did it. Liver, nerves, we actually heart, did it. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, <laughs> you actually went nerves, for it. Oh, you're going to regret nerves, this. I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Can she? Liver. We've already seen how she can change. <laughs> Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground, unmoving. Nerves. Oh. I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. Oh, finally. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right. She was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. Forever. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. Time passes. Forever's gonna end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. I feel sick. Doesn't have to be forever, though, does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right, I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Hmm. Why? What do you mm. mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. Again? That's... That's unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. You knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Of course I did. Though, I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. And mine. 
She's dead and we're stuck in her hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. No. Wow. <laughs> How about now? Is it secret time? Still no. I'm going to wear you down eventually. You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets now. Then we'll have something else to talk about. You're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. I'm not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. Secret? The narrator ignores <laughs> you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. I can. Secret? The narrator can... You could do a lot better than us. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. Unlike you, <laughs> I'm not capable of being lonely. <laughs> oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. Getting some Stanley Parable vibes from this. More time passes. You're still here. More time pa- More time- more time. More time. More 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 and fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. Well, now yep. you're really stuck here forever. There's no way out now. You mean, other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time, but that doesn't stop it from passing, nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. The only things you know for certain are that it's long and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. No, you really shouldn't have, but biology and time are immutable forces, and eventually Long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark, and you die. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. Ah, it's not over. <laughs> oh. You're on a path in the woods. What the Shit. f- This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her, it doesn't matter if she kills us, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Yes, so it does. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all about her, and all about the threat she poses to the world. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends, and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. 
All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again and again. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. Her influence? I really should have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, alright? Suspiciously quick. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. Huh? I'm too drunk to understand understand anything you- That's great, I'm too drunk to understand a single word he just said. So, (laughs) I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. (laughs) It's basically just the same narrator, but every time you jump realities, or whatever you do, it's not him. But it's still him, but also not him. <laughs> I don't know. I just understood that in a way. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Blowing you to the bottle, Lisa. That's my brain right now. It's like, I know you're trying to explain it, and I'm like, please, please make it so I can understand. And then my brain is just like, I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. Oh, I'm liking the way the voice of the cold is thinking. He's hoping that the princess can kill the narrator. They've clearly all been through some (laughs) harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. Uh, I suggest you use it. I'm so drunk right now. Been killed by we've killed her and been killed by her and neither of those things have gone well for us if we're going to fall through this loop forever eventually we're gonna let her out we might as well do it now you're making a dizzying amount of assumptions your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different the world itself is at a tipping point know that there is always a choice Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't, and you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting paranoid so far. (laughs) Yeah, paranoid is pretty good. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace. <laughs> yes, cold. I'd like to see what that does to him. And she finds a way out on her own. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's got to be better, right? No, it's strictly worse. And why is that? Because it's cowardly, for starters. And because the unknown is always worse than the known. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her, and whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. You continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. 
There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. Okay. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Would you look at that? We won. Hooray! We can end the game now. Let's go! <laughs> we beat the narrator. Take it however you will. The interior of the cabin is long and dark, Ooh. a single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? What do you mean there isn't a mirror? There's a mirror. Plain as day at the end of the hall. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying that at the end of the hallway, there's just an opening again? He didn't say door, did he? No, I didn't say door, because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. It's just like last time, isn't it? Only instead of a visible empty void, there's an invisible one. For all we know, she could be standing right there behind the mirror. For all we know, she's going to jump out at us and there's nothing we can do to stop her. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. And certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. Are you, like, warning us about a jump scare? Is that, so, is that some meta shit that's happening right now? Oh, God. Like, she's not going to jump out at you. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Here we go. Make your way uh, towards the gaping maw that awaits you. Don't call it a gaping maw. The chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward. My hackles. The darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I haven't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. I hate that I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. I'm, I'm hiding. I'm I don't want to get jump scared. I'm pretty sure it's a jump scare. No. Nope. Into the pitch black of the open. Okay, it hasn't happened. <sighs> well, that was a close one. It's gonna happen oh, here. Oh no, it's, a, it's gonna happen. Nothing. It's gonna happen. Helplessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart okay. skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts your bones, snap. Ow! Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. I can fix her! Babe! <laughs> you killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom. But then you took my body away from me. So now I'm going to take yours. And I'm going to walk it out of here. And you, you need to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out, and it's different. We might as well take it. Yeah, but not like this. 
She's going to make it hurt. Then turn off the part of you that feels things. Oh, like it's that easy? It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. <laughs> I think you forgot something. Like the part where all this started when you left me to languish in a pit all by myself. Now it becomes something so much worse. And it's all thanks to you. If I were you, I would just want to get it over with. You've lost your chance to call the shots. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. Ow. Twice even. And I'm not letting you do it again. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours. Her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Damn, babe, you don't want to get dinner first? Sheesh. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I... And the rest of the world are out of luck, too. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Is it? Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. It's so cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around like this. <laughs> We were gonna let you out of here. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. Were we? I was. I know you were, but you were only here for the wrong reason. And what reasons are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. We weren't always like this. We We don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it and throw us all into the basement. It's better than giving her what she wants. Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. It's not that bad. The pain feels good. There is no security here.
Fuck it, I'm gonna give her what she wants this time. You toss the last of your will aside and surrender to the princess. Guess that's that. Maybe we'll find our freedom on the other side. An end is an end. Let's see what it has in store for us. Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and unresponsive, the shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. Yep, I know how that feels. <clears throat> but despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. If anything, it's getting further away. Please just let her out. Yes. It's pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given up by the time we met. No, no, screw that. The hallway gets even longer. It really is, isn't it? Isn't saying all of this his job? He's gone. Oh, he really is, isn't he? I had a feeling you could deal with him for us. Woohoo! I did nothing. He dealt with himself. This is it then. The big moment. Finally, we'll get to see what's really out there. You step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent terror rending that cuts all the way down to your soul. Once again, separated from everything that is nestled in the deep crevices of your body, from everything that isn't you. Yeah, us again. How interesting. Everything is gone. Except her. What? What? What is happening to me? Wait, was that the right choice? Huh? Really? She's gone. Where did she go? Hmm. Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? What? But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It's calling us. And not in a good way. You don't need to comfort them. Oh. You're not over now. You're comforting them now. Okay. If you say so. We'll trust oh, you. I am. We we'll trust you. Whatever makes yeah. you happy. Weird. To hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitude. 
I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. As easily as you can stand to be you, you are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit, even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? It says that your heart is gentle, that even in the darkness you are guided by compassion. This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm even if you attempt to destroy me. My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. I care about your gifts but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Mm. Mm. The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. We will know when we near our destination. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. You're on a path. This Whoa. is so... Fucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to describe it, really. Like, it's just like, yeah, kill kill this woman. Such a simple premise, right? And then she's like, oh, by the way, I got fucking blades for bones. And fuck you. <laughs> like, uh, my brain's been fucked since earlier. I just... I I, th I think it's time I think it's time to end stream. I think I'm too drunk to continue. <laughs> Be completely honest with you. I need a break. Sure. I need to go back to playing fucking yeah. Harvest Moon. <laughs> sure. <man. laughs> okay, it's over. Like, Have... I'm so fascinated with the game. Though. We are we are going we are definitely going to continue this for sure. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Happy New Year's, everybody. Good night. Happy New Year's. Uh, hope you have a good one. Goodbye, 2023. Bye. Wee. Ah, I am <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.